won't believe that the blue flags are for somebody else. He does look across just in the nick of time. A position that Prado is not used to being in. And Hurling's tried to run it up. Absolutely nothing in it. Oh, it ends in tears. Bikes and bodies in the track. Wow. Wow. Whose fault was that? Well, Hurley just walks away. Absolutely brassed off. Tony Cairoli not able to find a way through that time around. Two lap board getting ready to come out here at Trentino. Good drive from both guys coming out of that left hander up the first hill, over on the far side of the circuit. The corner speed from both these guys this late in the race, absolutely unreal and phenomenal. And you know what, if they're in that turn and Geiser slips a gear, Cairoli is gonna run clean into the back of him. And they're both going down. That's how close they are. It's almost MotoGP style. And Cairoli is gonna get the, uh, the run round here because of the back marker just on the line there of Geiser. And Geiser goes defensive, Kai Rowley comes around the outside. Oh, he buries his wheels in the ground again, and they're almost touched, coming over the jump. To the roar of the crowd. It is absolutely electric as Fevre and Hurlings halfway round this final lap. Dispute the lead. Maxim Dupre couldn't get stopped quick enough there to allow Hurlings to go through. Fevre's heart must be in his mouth at the moment. He knows he has to be inch perfect. Prado is next in the firing line. And if he looks over his shoulder, Prado, he will know that the race leader is there, but he hasn't even flinched. And this has played perfectly into the hands of uh, Hurlings. Prado will believe that the blue flags are for somebody else. He does look across just in the nick of time. A position that Prado is not used to being in. And Hurlings tried to run it up the inside. He's running out of time. Fevre is going to hold on. And Roman Fevre out of the final two corners here. The number three takes victory in race one. An epic win for Roman Fevre. Oh, we've got a race on here. So we've already had lead changes. Cairoli led, he's now in fourth. Geiser was second, he's leading. Hurlings is now second from fourth. Buries the back end, squares off early. Don't think he had too much choice there, though. Just the way the back end came round on it, landed sweet, and then he just got on the gas, launched it up the inside. End of this first lap, though. Geiser, Team HRC, Hurlings, Red Bull, KTM. Geiser, of course, you win it from race one. Doesn't need to win this race to win the GP. But he would love to. Of course he would. He is a racer. So too is the guy behind him. Separated by three quarters of a second. And Hurling's already on the charge uphill. Alongside the Honda rider. Two tenths in it as they cross the line. In terms of overall lap time, Hurling's was the fastest man on track. And he's alongside, keeping it nice and low. Takes the lead, but Geiser may respond here at the end of the straight. This is where he had his biggie on Wednesday. Tiptoes to the inside, finds a nice line, gets on the gas nice and easy. We saw how significantly shorter that distance was going for the inside there, but look at the speed you can generate around the outside there. Already Prado. Here we go. Down the inside, this is what Geiser couldn't do early on in the race, and Kai Rowley nails it first time. Oh, almost. Had to run his teammate wide. Back markers looking over the shoulders, they know. Not to get involved as well. And Hurling's looking to make a move down the inside. Oh, he runs down into Kai Rowley. Oh! Whoa! That was coming. Hurling's charged down the inside.